Blutbad. Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial video. In my previous video, I showed you how to create a very basic lightsaber glow. Today, I'm going to show you an intermediate technique for creating lightsaber glow that actually casts light on your figures. Unlike the previous technique, this one will require you to blend together two separate exposures, so make sure to use a tripod when capturing your shots. You'll want to take one exposure with your regular lighting, and another exposure with an extra light in the color you'd like your lightsaber glow to be. Once you have your exposures, you're going to open both of them in Photoshop. They'll each be in their own documents, so the first step is to unlock your layers and then drag your glow layer into the other document, placing it on top of the regular lighting layer. I like to name my layers to keep myself organized, so I'll just name these Glow and Not Glow. Since you used a tripod, you should be able to line them up pretty easily, but to be extra accurate, I like to auto-align the layers. You can do this by holding Shift and clicking on both layers, then selecting Edit, then Auto-Align from the top menu. Click OK to apply it. Auto-Align sometimes gives you extra space around the edges, so you can just crop that out. Now you can toggle the layers and see they are perfectly lined up. Next, we're going to use the pen tool to create a path and selection to color in the lightsaber blade. The short key for the pen tool is P, or you can click on it over here on the tools panel. Once the pen tool is selected, we're going to click down here to create a new layer on top of our previous layers. This is the layer we will be drawing the blade on. So first you'll zoom in, and then with the pen tool you'll place a series of nodes that create a path around the blade. When the path is complete, we're going to head over to the path panel here and rename it so it doesn't disappear on us. After renaming, you're going to hold the control key and click on the path's thumbnail. This will turn the path into a selection. Making sure you're still on the topmost layer, you can now select the brush tool. The short key is B, or you can find it on the tools panel over here. With the brush tool selected, you can fill in the blade selection with white. When you're finished, press Ctrl D to deselect your selection. Now you'll add some layer effects. While still on the top layer, click the little FX icon at the bottom of the layer panel and select Outer Glow. Change the glow color to that of your lightsaber, and then copy the hex code before pressing OK. This next part will vary with every different photo, but play around with the blend mode, spread, and size until the glow around your lightsaber looks right to you. Once you're happy, select Inner Glow. Click on the color swatch and paste your hex code so your inner glow will match your outer glow. And again, you can play around with the settings until it looks the way you want it to. Now comes the fun part. You're going to turn your glow layer back on and then click the layer mask button at the bottom of the panel. You can see that added a white layer mask next to the thumbnail on your layer, but we want the mask to be black. Click directly on the mask, then click Edit, Fill from the top bar. Click the drop down and fill it with black. Now, with the layer mask still selected, you're going to select the brush tool again. Make sure your brush color is still white, then right-click to open the brush settings to get the size and hardness you prefer. This will also vary by each photograph. Using the brush tool, you can now reveal the glow layer and paint it in wherever you want it to show through on the figure. If you happen to color outside the lines, simply hit X to change your white brush to black and brush those parts back in.
If you find the effect to be too bright, you can mess around with the transparency of your glow layer. I actually ended up making a separate glow layer for Luke's body and Luke's face so that I could have the effect full blast on his clothes and slightly toned down on his face. And now you know how to cast a lightsaber glow on your figures. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Thanks and until next time!